Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Today we're watching How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Sorry, this is about a week behind. We got a little behind when we were doing some of the Avatar the live action series stuff. And it was never our intention to miss it last week, but we did, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm so glad that we're gonna go ahead and finish off this trilogy of How to Train Your Dragon. This has been a first time watching for really both of us, and uh, I'm really excited to conclude this trilogy, partly because from the reception we've gotten from most of you that it, the whole thing stays pretty solid, uh, even going into this movie. So I'm really excited. Jen, how are you feeling going into the third film? I'm really excited. I love this movie series much more than I thought I was going to, and it's music to my ears that it stays pretty consistent. I love Toothless. I think that he is my favorite character in the whole series. I love that this is centered around Vikings. I did not know that going in, and I think that makes it just that much sweeter. So this is just a fun ride for me. Fun storyline, fun characters, it's dragons. That's great. So I'm really excited to see how this is wrapped up. But before we get into it, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day comes from the R-Man Prod. He says, Jen is gonna love Godzilla. I've teased that after this, we're gonna begin some of the Godzilla movies. I think we're actually gonna do a couple more animated flicks before we get into the MonsterVerse stuff, uh, but I cannot wait to watch Godzilla. But that's not it. I got another comment of the day for you. The next comment of the day says, I honestly like DreamWorks as much, if not more, than Disney. Kung Fu Panda and How to Train Your Dragon are both favorites of mine when it comes to trilogies that I enjoyed growing up. That's true, I feel like we have plays Disney and Pixar and this hard to reach pillar, but really DreamWorks doesn't have a whole lot of misses. They're really just as good. A lot of respect does go to Pixar for really pioneering the whole uh, medium, so super kudos to them. But DreamWorks is really comparable at the very least, I'd say, so I agree with that. But I'm not done yet! I got one more comment of the day for you. And the last one says, on the very rare series managing a trilogy where the quality doesn't drop off, animation quality, production, score, voice acting, writing, across the board consistent uh, excellence. And as both of you noticed, they did a great job at not rehashing the first, but making a natural progression of characters in the story. I agree, I, I thought that's always tough to do, to recapture the lightning in the bottle without doing too many familiar beats. It's very difficult and one of the main reasons why sequels and especially the third one in a trilogy are hard to be as good. And last thing, don't forget, we have our own merch down below. A big shout out to Sam right here. Thank you so much, Sam bought one of our hoodies. If you want the chance for your picture to be featured on the channel in one of these awesome movie reaction videos, make sure you check that out. You can get a Who's to Say shirt. We have a couple of My Girlfriend, My Wife Watches, It's a Fish. We have a bunch of stuff over there and we're gonna be adding some stuff over there too. So make sure you check that out. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. So I'm surprised Universal doesn't have like uh, more How to Train Your Dragon related like right. rides at Universal and stuff or themed things. You could do a whole like Viking thing, really. I wish. That looks really cool. Reminds me of Up. Oh, that's a little different. Yeah, really like that paintbrush stroke intro. That was cool. Oh, what? Oh. What are you? Oh. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not a demon, just a guy here to rescue these dragons. <laughs> well, I know a demon when I see one. No human legs are last standing. <laughs> Get a load of me! Ah, not yet! Behold your worst nightmare. Oh gosh. You always come in too soon. Fish legs again with the baby? <laughs> uh -uh. I couldn't find a sitter. Demons everywhere! Demons everywhere. <laughs> Astrid! What does Sal say? Sewage everywhere. Sewage <laughs> everywhere. We screwed that up. But at least nobody else knows we're here. <laughs> I freaking love Sal. Easy, girl. It's okay. Shh. I'm Aww. gonna get you out of here. <gasps> the crimson gore gutter! Oh, this is heartbreaking. Well, they're freeing him, so. It's all good. <laughs> Look at this yeah, weirdo. Sure down with no that is super dumb. <laughs> Why can't I get this cage open? It slides. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Now, go get the rest, bud. Oh, I love Toothless. We got them all. I'm gonna headlock <laughs> every last one of you. Woo! So good hustle, boys. Toothless is looking grown. Yeah, they're all looking older. 
Oh, great. We see where this is going. <laughs> hey, guys. You always have my back, bud. That was so fun. That's a lot of dragons. This? is Burke. So settle in and let your worries melt away. Yeah, it seems like the population is uh, getting a little out of control. Yeah, maybe we should neuter some of these dragons, guys. <laughs> and the locals are as colorful as you get. Where are all these dragons pooping and peeing? Where are they mating? Something okay. no one else can touch. <laughs> we, my friend, In those have little dragons. Homes? Oh, since they're animals, probably out in public and anywhere they want. Gang, meet our latest Burkeans. Uh, Hiccup's mom. Any notes on my bone-crushing assault? Please, call me Valka. It has been a year. A year, that's a year. Perhaps you all rely a little bit too much on your dragon. See, that's exactly what I was saying. Yeah, your mom's super impressed with me. I'm like the son she always wanted. <laughs> Jeez, that escalated quickly. You found a new friend. Bite your head! Boss, was watching. I think she's scared of the dragons. Oh. You brought back a hobgoblin! They're a bad omen. They're all a little shaken, but otherwise healthy. That's literally what Boston looks like all the time. Boston, we just saw the dragon version of you. Hang up those saddles and get married. Uh -oh. The M word. Gross. Unless it's me. <laughs> Marry him. You're the only one with any sense. With you wearing the pants, there's still hope. <laughs> What's the report? Two more trapper barges. So we go after them. Well, I'm glad what? he uh, joined the regular crew. Yeah, I liked him. Looks like four dark world. Yeah. A lot of dark elements. But Grimo, the flock is protected by a night fury. Not possible. We even have your favorite bait. A female? Hmm. Uh-oh. So, do we have a deal? Old friend. I don't like this. They don't have a leader, just a boy. Hiccup, oh. this is Berk, son. Dragons guarding the entrance to a hidden world. Even Night Furies? That voice. Aww. One day I'll find the hidden world and seal it up so that people and dragons will fight no more. <laughs> What? He looks like Falcon. Yeah, I guess. Oh, do you want this leg? Do you want my leg? Yeah, go get it. You want my leg? Yeah, very weird. <laughs> Getting pretty good at gliding on your own, bud. Can we get him like a ball or something? <laughs> so this is where you come to get away from Gobber. He's right, you know. Really? We're nowhere near ready for that. No, that's that's crazy. <laughs> right about all of this. Dad used to talk about an old mariner's myth. I think we need a real solution, Hiccup. <laughs> if you're having doubts, I'm pretty sure Snotlout's available. <laughs> he only has eyes for your mom. <gasps> <laughs> Looks like there might be a wedding after all. Oh, how dare you! <laughs> oh, but no, no. Looks like Mewtwo. She's pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Pick up! Whoa. She's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're friends. No need to kill us. Oh no. He'll be alright. He'll get his chance. <laughs> Another night fury. Oh, not quite. It's more like a to fall light. in love and to a light fury. be together. You always expect the worst out of me. Uh-uh. Stub your ears. No dorsal plates. Okay, got it. I know you. <laughs> it's nothing else. Isn't it obvious? He's in love. Trust me, relationships are nothing but pain and misery. <laughs> What did I just say? Uh, Why are you not laughing? This just, he's just so wrong. It's so sweet. I mean, look. <laughs> Let's head back to the woods and see if we can find her. We talked about it. We're not getting married. Cold feet. I've seen it before. <laughs> Show these naysayers, of which there are many, that you're more than just a malnourished runt. <laughs> malnourished runt? Ooh, what is that? Toothless! Don't move a muscle. Hey! Oh, oh my gosh. Someone's here. This is uh, quite good. Oh, that is impressive. Oh. 
Toothless! I am the Night Fury Killer. I've hunted every last one but yours. Did we get him? <laughs> <laughs> now! Oh. You think you can come into my home and threaten my dragon? You've never seen anything like me. Hiccup grew some cojones. Yeah. Good as manning up a bit. Astrid, look out! Whoa. Look out! Oh, no. <gasps> Acid breath. It's a scary looking one. Yeah. Have my dragon ready, or I will destroy everything you love. Have you ever seen that species of dragon before? Oh. I'll give him a piece of my mind, and by mind, I mean this. This is a new kind of enemy. We're Vikings. We don't run from a fight. At least I don't. You might. <laughs> If we want to live in peace with our dragons, we have to disappear off the map. So run away. The quest for the hidden world. I say Burke is wherever we go. I'm with him. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> the Night Fury is distracted. I introduced him to your female. The Light Fury. The Light Fury. Hmm. <laughs> She made of the sky? Hold on, Toothless! <laughs> oh, Toothless is so cute. Well, look who it is! Uh, oh, hey, it's really nice to find the guy! So great. Not a word. <laughs> they can only have gone. Does anyone want to take a guess? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> East! West! I said make camp, not build a new village. Who died and made you chief? Ugh. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's rough. I should head back to make sure we weren't followed. Great idea. I'll go with you for protection. No! You're far too important here. Yeah. <laughs> I fear it can't last, Hiccup. Greedy humans always find a way. They sure do. It's like invisible. That's cool. <laughs> I know you're loving this. So sweet together. Just like us. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> oh boy. Go get it, Toothless. Go get what? Just like a, go get her heart. Make her fall in love with you, bud. I don't think you're talking about her heart. Jennifer Hardman. <laughs> I love how much Toothless loves her, though. I don't even know her, Toothless. You can't stop true love. That's how I feel about you. Oh, thank you. Me too. Ditto. Whatever girl wants to hear. <laughs> Same Z's. <laughs> <laughs> this really is us. <laughs> yep, there's Matt in the corner. You. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's neat like they're vampires. <laughs> That sand looks really good. Yeah, it does. Very real. Oh, great, he's an artist. I'm also a barista. That water looks realistic too in the yeah, back. It all looks really good. Oh. oh gosh. You could probably fix that permanently, actually, at this time. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 
I guess we'll work on it. Then he won't need you anymore. No. Neither of us will be getting any sleep or finding the hidden world until Toothless takes over. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, bud? Bring her home. By sundown at the latest. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh, he's a big boy. Yeah, well, he was a big boy before until he also lost his tail. I mean, this might be actually be a case of Stockholm Syndrome, Toothless. He might just... Because he, he can't leave, you know, until now. <sighs> oh. Well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That oh, looks so good. Oh, I feel like he's gonna be ambushed in here. I don't like this at all. Oh, yeah. Fireproof. Whoa. Toothless is just so awesome. Jeez, I didn't know you could do that. Oh. They're canoodling! Yeah, get it, Toothless. The love, I mean. Oh, oh they're a heart. That's pretty. <laughs> really going on in on the, in on the romance. Yeah. Little toothless and uh, like. Oh. oh, Lord. They're holding wings! <laughs> hey, girl, what else those wings do? Stop it! Stop <laughs> ruining the moment by being gross. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obviously, he's gonna be like ambushed at some point. Is she like really falling in love with him, or is she yeah, in on this? I feel like she's probably in on it, but probably oh, will yeah. ultimately love him. I didn't mean to fall in love. You were just supposed to be the mark, you know. But I don't know. I swear they're popping up faster than rabbits. Listen, I've been watching you walk. Lose the limp. Wow. I have a prosthetic <laughs> leg. So am I. And I have a parasitic twin, but you don't see me limping around about it. Jeez. If Grimmel is leading them here, we have to capture him. Why are you doing this? When I was a boy and I came up on a night fury, I killed it where it slept. Oh, gosh. They're dragon killers. Drugged into obedience, they serve me. Up here! That's like a gnarly one. Oh, God. Ah, gotcha! Ooh. Ugh, he takes that stupid baby everywhere. <laughs> Where is Rough Nut? Toothless and I will Toothless fly. Toothless has the light fury. Get on. What? We're going to find him. Why the long face? Tough Nut took up all the room in Mom's belly. Otherwise, I'd have a rounder head and more brains. That's science. That's science. I know what you're thinking. You've never had a prisoner this hot. <laughs> I'm allergic to fish. You should know that. That's all they have at that stupid new island. Uh. Oops, you let the dragons out. I'm gonna get you. No, this one's gonna get you. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Where's your bathroom? I gotta. <laughs> so long, losers. Hmm. Oh, that was rough to watch, even as an audience member. That's cool. It's like a hole in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. And like the Great Falls. The bedrock of my life is eroding beneath me. <laughs> eroding. Eroding. <laughs> well, that's pretty. That's cool. Cool date night. Yeah, very nice. Some dragons up there I saw. Wow. Oh, he's going too. Yeah. It's like going to a skating rink. Black light. Yep. Oh, like Bellingrath Gardens. Yeah. We went there. It was pretty nice around Christmas time. If you don't get the reference. It really does exist. They do exist. Eminem's commercial. Wow. So this is the hidden Jesus. world. I'm guessing so. Spook them. Where all the dragons come from. Oh. oh. He's in the hidden world. Oh no, I know how this is gonna end. 
Oh, that guy's gonna come like Kerchak and Tarzan and no, just wipe him. No, I think this movie's gonna end with Toothless like staying with his kind. Oh yeah, that's something they'll probably do. In the hidden world. Yeah, probably. Or maybe not. Maybe they'll all actually live there together. Like, I don't really imagine this being a good environment for people. No! But it's great for dragons. Maybe they'll be neighbors if they stay on that island and they look here and just visit each other. Always looking on the positive side. There was that same kind of dragon from the last one, the old alpha. Now that's a king. Oh, he's king of all of them now? Good for Toothless, though. He's just like the, the alpha for all of them. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> Ooh. She reminds me of Boston, the way she like prances. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You gotta let her go, Hiccup. Him go. Uh oh. Intruders. Big boy. Well, it's gonna be the other way around. The dragons are gonna be really hostile towards the people. Yeah. Oh. Paul oh, didn't no, find out. That's Hiccup. I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I just... Well, you ruined everything, Hiccup. Oh, gosh. This Son. is just an emotional one. You should be asleep. Dad, are you gonna get us a new mom? Oh, I've been working on it, little one. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom. Not many options on <laughs> Viking Tinder. <laughs> Like Tinder. <laughs> Pickings are real slim, Hiccup. It's part of the deal. Sometimes it hurts, but in the end, it's all worth it. There's no greater gift than love. If you love him, you'll let him go. This is so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I like their armor. That'd probably be a cool cosplay. You belong there. With her. Hey! <laughs> the cutest thing ever. Miss me? Were you followed? I never look back, Hiccup. Toothless! Come back! He's gotta save his girl. No! Oh. He's gotta kill them both. They look like this fish. Is, oh, this is terrible. Oh, geez. Call them off, Alpha. No reason for her to die, too. You are nothing without your dragon. He's got a little stubble on his face. I just noticed that. I was the first to believe in you. I am the person I am today because of you. Aw. Suit up, gang. We're going to get them back. He's lost his mind. Now that's marriage material. <laughs> How are we going to get our dragons back without dragons? Trust me. Move! Oh, this is so heartbreaking. Jump off the cliff <laughs> in these. Perfect timing! This flame sword's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Look out! Thanks. <laughs> I'm coming, Toothless! You still think he cares about you? Let's just see who he follows. Oh. I don't like this at all. How are we gonna get him off her back without hurting her? Fear the facial hair! <laughs> Fear the facial hair. <laughs> That's a bad omen. You're cussed. <laughs> uh, we've got problems. Got 99 problems, but a light fury ain't one. We need a better plan! And quick! Oh boy. Oh jeez. Those are gnarly. Come on. Uh, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Oh. oh. Oh, he's trying to get him. him off. Oh, <gasps> he's got his glider on. He's good. Oh. 
Oh, there goes his glider. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen now? Just land on his body, increase your chances of survival. Though still not high. Oh, we're good. I've heard to break a leg, but lose a leg. We did it. Oh. Hops over. I know. He's all yours. Eric may be blessed with brawn, but just between us, you have the brains. Number one. <laughs> he reminds me of uh, Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They are some of the cutest, like, animated creatures ever. Just look at those eyes. Yeah. Who do you like more, Toothless or Stitch? Toothless? Yeah. Toothless has like a little bit of an edge. Mm -hmm. Well, Stitch was literally You're a killing right, machine prior. I, but it's Stitch time. is like a psycho yeah. little gremlin. <laughs> like, Toothless is like a sweet but smart. I didn't think about what you creature. Needed. A sweet but, well, we'll tear you up if needed. Yeah. But, but not the first You've looked after us for long enough. Time to look after yourself. But he's like loyal. Yeah, well, so is Stitch. But yeah. Go on, bud. Lead them to the hidden world. You'll be safe there. Safer than you could ever be with me. Mm. I love you too. We're gonna have to do this with the dogs. Just take them to like a Walmart parking lot. No! You'll be safe here. World Safer than you could ever wear with me. Stop! <laughs> yes. Just kidding. Don't you dare. <laughs> Did she have a name? Oh, Toothless. They just call her Light Fury. Oh. Go. <laughs> I guess the hidden world is that way. Oh my god, this is really sad. Yeah, you called it early on. Oh, they're all like truly free. Yeah. You guys want to be truly free too? Stop. You guys want to be free? To quit vomiting all over my carpet and pooping on it. <laughs> Jen, literally this morning. Hold on, we got to get rid of this carpet. <laughs> it's not their fault though. Oh, uh, getting married. This is like at the end of Aladdin where he lets GD go free. Is he older? Is he a little older? I no. think so. Maybe a smidge. <laughs> okay, you win. I like sensitive guys. <laughs> there were dragons when I was a boy. Oh. Uh, oh, there were great grim sky dragons that nested on the clifftops like gigantic oh, scary birds. Oh, I hate movies like this. I could cosplay as a dragons that hunted down the mice and rats. Maybe a little stock here on my end, but I could still pull it off. Sea dragons that were 20 times as big as the big blue whale. Oh, well, they got two kids. Not a bone nor a fang for men to remember. Others say they were nothing but folktales. I'm okay with that. Oh, no, oh, don't, do this here we go. don't do this to me. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Hey there, bud. Oh my gosh, you gotta go get me a goddamn tissue. Remember me? Okay. Well, I don't wanna watch the end two here. Use my, use my, use me. It's a happy thing. He's not gonna eat your father. <laughs> oh. oh, sweetie. <laughs> So cute. It's okay. They're friends. <laughs> Here. Go on. You it's okay? Right. Come. No. It's okay. No. It's okay. It's a happy. This is happy I stuff. Need a goddamn tissue. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll get you one. Jeez. That's it. Let him. Here's come a grainy to you. paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. God. He looks good with the beard. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Maybe their kids can be friends too. <laughs> oh, they're like mixed. <laughs> Boston's black and white too. Come here, Boston. Actually, you know what? Stay there. We'll guard the secret until the time comes when dragons can return in peace. I forgot how small he was in the first one. Just finished watching How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. I love this one. I thought it was great. Uh, the whole thing with Toothless meeting Light Fury and them having their little family together. Jen called it pretty early that she thought that they were going to part ways 
in the end. It was a very emotional, probably the most emotional uh, one that we've seen thus far, but I thought it was really good. I also love that it really felt like an ending. I feel like so many movies, they really don't end with the anticipation of continuing on. And I realize there's a TV show and there's some specials and there's some other stuff, but in terms of just like the trilogy, it felt like an ending. So I really enjoyed it. Jen, what did you think? Oh boy, this is probably one of my favorite animated films. These are the types of movies that really get me, like the full circle moments. The movies where like, you know, 20 years has elapsed and you kind of see where everyone is on their own individual path. It was really emotional. Like Toothless already was adorable, cute, such an interesting character on his own. But then you throw in his mate, and the fact that we have Hiccup, who that's his best friend, and I knew right away it was gonna come down to like, if you love something enough, let it go. And sure enough, that's what happened. But I think it's such an appropriate ending for this chapter because everyone grows up, right? Everyone follows their own path, and sometimes that's not how you want it to work out. But at the end of the day, everyone has their own path that they need to go forward with. And Toothless, seeing his happiness with finding a true companion, somebody like him, I thought was such a great moment. And saving that for the third movie, I thought was fantastic because we really got to focus on Toothless for this film and seeing his like evolution come to an end or not, not really the end, the beginning for him, you know, that's really where I feel like his life begins, you know, he has his mate and they had a family and he's truly free. Obviously who was happy with Hiccup, but I'm sure there is no level of happiness compared to like true freedom. And so I love that they really just focused on that. I felt like that was needed. I loved the other two films, but I really wanted Toothless, you know, spotlight on him. And they did that in this film and it was very, very emotional. And I love how much they had Hiccup absolutely like welcoming the fact that Toothless would be moving on, you know, with his own story and how supportive he was. So this was just like nothing but good feels. And like I said, it was a full circle moment for both Hiccup and Toothless, you know? Hiccup had his own path that he was following and both of those stories led to happiness and then they kind of came back together, which just broke me at the end. They both have kids, they're playing together. What the heck are you doing to me? So I really loved this movie. Visually, I think it looked the best. Everything from like the effects to just our, you know, familiar characters to Toothless, just like how there were certain things that he did that I don't remember seeing in the second one, definitely not the first one, at least to that level. And I think that they did him justice as far as the character. So he really got to shine in this film. So all around, this was my favorite one and it's definitely up there for like one of my favorite films. I think it was just so interesting and um, I loved it. What would you rate it? 10. A 10? A 10. Wow. I love Toothless, but they did the story so perfectly. And I love that it wasn't exactly, it wasn't a happy ending in a way because our beloved characters, they're not interconnected anymore. You know, they have two different lives. On the same token, they each are happy. So that more than anything is what matters. And um, I absolutely loved it. I was not expecting a 10 from you. I was expecting high, but that is pretty high. I agree. I, I really liked the villain in this one. I think that he was great. It was also nice to have an antagonist that wasn't another dragon. I know in, in the first and second one, there was like the, I know in the second one, there was like the alpha. And then in the first one, there was that other big dragon they had to deal with. So I was glad to see a sort of a departure from that into like a humanoid uh, bad guy that is like the whole thing. Visually, I, I agree with Jen. I think that it had some really beautiful moments. And there were, there were some for sure in one and two that just gave us pause like, oh wow, that looks really great. But the whole like them gliding through the hidden world and getting to see it all for the first time, it, light up like a roller skating rink it was really, really cool. The epilogue that they had of, you know, the time jump where we see Hiccup kind of more of a man and his family and we get to see uh, Toothless with his 
new little family was was really really great so a solid a solid end i would rate this one an 8.5 it's pretty high for me i think it's comparable to two there were elements in two i think i liked a smidge more than in this one but i think that they stuck the landing on this one for sure so it's all fantastic but of course these are just some of our thoughts we'd love to know what you think down in the comments below make sure you check that out oh one little tidbit thing too when jen and i first started doing all these reaction videos and stuff jen really didn't care for animation didn't really like animation and i've noticed a theme a pattern here especially recently where all the movies that have hit that 10 mark the majority of them have been animated i just wanted to point that out this one included. Also, a lot of them have animals in them. But let us know what you think down in the comments below. Check those out. Leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. It does help the channel out a lot. Don't forget to check out some merch. Patreon too. It's a great way to support the channel. You get to see videos like this early before anyone else, as well as the full-length reactions over there too. But for now, that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.